Hello sisters and welcome to our September video for the newsletter. Um, the year 2020 was pretty difficult. It was harsh. We were all quarantined in our homes with limited contact with other church members to help lift our spirits. So we had to rely on our own spirituality to strengthen ourselves and our families. For many months, we experienced difficult and lonely times, but President Nelson was inspired to have the church leaders share how I hear him to help strengthen the testimonies of members in the church throughout the world. At the end of this presentation, there is a little video of, by President Nelson, and in it he says, if we hear, hearken and heed what the Savior has said, we are promised additional powers to deal with temptation, struggles, weakness, and our capacity for joy will increase, even if turbulence increases in our life. Apostle Paul said, the Holy Ghost communicates through feelings. The fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. These are the feelings the Holy Ghost will communicate to us as our constant companion. The Holy Ghost sends us messages that God our Heavenly Father and His Son Jesus Christ would like us to hear. In these latter days, we are surrounded with hatred, anger, and fear, but with the Holy Ghost in our life, we can feel joy, peace, and happiness. So how do I hear him? It's not like a lightning is striking me or, or the answers are not yelling in my head, but I do hear him through impressions, feelings, thoughts, ideas, and sometimes even words being spoken in my mind. I hear him when the Spirit testified to me that this is a living prophet of God. Many years ago, I had an experience with President Benson, and when he entered the room, it felt like as soon as that door opened up, it felt like a rolling wave was slowly moving towards me, and the Spirit was so strong I could almost see that wave before it consumed me, and at that very moment, the Spirit testified to me, this man is a true prophet of God. The feeling was so powerful that I will never deny, no doubt what I felt. I hear him in the temple. I know that I am loved by my heavenly father and he knows me personally. He knows the desires of my heart. He is aware of my pain and he knows my joy and he loves me. I know this because I have felt his love. I hear him when I'm walking on the beach or sitting by the trees in the mountains. I used to go to Newport Beach to enjoy the peace and quiet when the schools all went back into session. I would sit on the sand and listen to the sounds of the wave, roll, the waves rolling in and out as I read my scriptures preparing for my gospel doctrine class. But my first love was driving to the mountains and listening to the wind howling through the pine trees. 
and to hear all the sounds of the outdoors while I'm reading. I could see and feel God's hand in creating everything around me. The majestic trees, all the different smells, sights, and sounds, and all this beauty for our enjoyment. These were the moments when I felt closer to God and I could hear him and I could feel his presence. I hear him and my calling as I receive impressions. I pray to my Heavenly Father daily on how to serve the sisters in this ward, but I also tell him that I cannot do this calling without his help. It was not an accident that as a presidency in January of 2020, we decided to produce a monthly video for the Relief Society newsletter. By March, the church was shut down worldwide and no one was attending church. At that time, we were already making videos for the newsletter, so we increased one video per month to three per month, allowing the presidency to stay connected with the sisters during the shutdown. I am in awe how often the sisters in the Cambia ward hear him. With love and with support, you hear him by rendering service to each other continually with love. I hear him as a mother, grandmother, and wife. When I am sitting in the temple in the celestial room, I am overjoyed with the feelings of peace and happiness, knowing how much my Heavenly Father loves me. If we are obedient to keep his commandments, we are offered everything he has. The plan of salvation is real, and we can experience joy, happiness, and peace while we are here on earth, if we hear him. Our Father knows that when we are surrounded by uncertainty and fear, what will help us the very most is to hear his Son. Because when we seek to hear, truly hear his Son, we will be guided to know what to do in any circumstance. What will happen as you more intentionally hear, hearken, and heed what the Savior has said and what he is saying now through his prophets? I promise you that you will be blessed with additional power to deal with temptation, struggles, and weakness. I promise miracles in your marriage, family relationships, and daily work. And I promise that your capacity to feel joy will increase, even if turbulence increases in your life. 